The picture on the front of this bottle reminds me of a glory haul I saw down in Memphis at a truck stop. It was not pleasant. There was no glory inside that hole. As a matter of fact, I think I got a spider bite. A spider bite? <laughs> What's up guys, it's Chef Robbie with BarbecueSauceDepot.com. Coming back at you with a little more pork action this time. Hell yeah, we're gonna make pulled pork sandwiches for my friend Sammy's birthday. Um, and so we figured if we're gonna cook, we might as well turn it into a video, show you guys how to do them. So like I said, we're gonna do a standard pulled pork sandwich. Pork chop sandwiches! What we're gonna do is we're gonna braise these two pork shoulders first. We're gonna pull them out of the oven after a couple hours. We're gonna pull them apart and then recook them in the sauce. Just to add that little flavor. So what we're gonna feature today that we sell is the Mary's uh, Cherry Pork Rub. Sweet, salty, awesome with pork. Um, we're gonna use a pork shoulder in this case. It's easier to pull apart. Um, this is the Pain is Good Southern Style Sauce. This is the Wimpy flavor. Um, what I really like about this company and about the flavors is that they do everything in small batch. So it doesn't lose the integrity of the, re of the recipe, doing it in large batches. It's really heavy tomato, sweet. It's got a little uh, anchovy in it, so it's got a nice little bite to it. Uh, this is the Mad Dog Ultra Hot. Treat this sauce with respect. You're gonna taste it, it's gonna be sweet, and then all of a sudden it's gonna Jean-Claude Van Damme the shit out of your mouth later. It is called a rub, so we're going to be very healthy with it, and then we're going to rub it in. You don't need to get weird with it, you don't need to get sexual with it, just rub it in. So now that we get a good sear on the pork, we're gonna add our mirepoix and we're gonna start the braising liquid. Our mirepoix that we're using here is just a little bit of celery, a little bit of carrot, garlic, and shallot. So that's gonna go right into the pan. We're gonna saute that up a little bit. We're gonna add a little more salt and pepper, um, apple cider vinegar. Obviously apples and pork go together really well. And this is just a straight vegetable stock, just one that we bought from the store. Pinch more of this rub in here, just for a little extra seasoning. I'm gonna keep the fat side up. Add just like a glass more water just to bring the fluid level up. So we're going to let this come to a boil, wrap it in foil into the 350 degree oven and then we're going to be ready to pull pork in about four hours. Alright, you can't have pulled pork without the coleslaw. So simply, just one head of cabbage, sliced thin, one red onion, about three carrots shredded, about three cups of vinegar, a little bit of mayonnaise, salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of sugar in there. Put it on top of your sandwich and enjoy. What we've done already, we pulled our pork, we're up to that part. We added a little bit of the braising liquid. So now we're gonna add the barbecue sauce. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. <laughs> 